Today on the channel from AEW Supreme Series 3, Ray Phoenix. The spirit of the Warrior will run forever. Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another AEW Supreme unboxing and review and today on the channel from AEW Supreme Series 3 Lucha Brothers Ray Phoenix but for all your Ray Phoenix and Supreme needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up ringside collectibles use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% Got to get the deal out there. And of course, the Lucha Brothers in Series 3 together. We did unbox Penta already on the channel. Go check that review out if you did miss it. And we'll do some comparisons and all that kind of fun stuff later on in this video. And of course, we're going to do this video like we do all the other videos on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So let's start it off with old Ray Phoenix Supreme Edition Series 3, like I said. And really the answer to the Mattel Ultimate Edition is the Supreme. And the case could be made that these are above an Ultimate Edition. As you get a lot of stuff, a lot of bells and whistles, including a big, big package on these. Just a very, very cool thing here with these, if you ask me. Big window box there for Ray Phoenix. He's got a headdress going on just like his brother did. Looking nice. Very cool. Looks like he's coming out of that entrance stage. And I love the little details here in the packaging. And I always say in this uh, episodes in the channel here, a lot of people are like, why do you talk about the packaging so much? It's part of the total experience. I enjoy the packaging. I love to see the work that was put into the packaging. And one little thing here that maybe a lot of people won't notice is the toe articulation being used in the package. I think that is really cool. It really shows very subtle shows the uh, amount of articulation and all the stuff this figure can do so I really really do like that just a very cool window box and I love all the uh, extra accessories on the side I think that is a really cool way to do it it shows what's in the package here but it doesn't put it right in our face in the front I mean the Mattel Ultimate lines they do you see severed heads sitting here you see arms you see accessories not that it's ugly but it's definitely noticeable here's a great way to hide it I think this is absolutely fabulous packaging right there how they do that then on this side there, you got uh, the rest of the jacket and stuff and the arms like we saw with his brother. Now, they did the little yin and yang there. I don't know if I like that a whole lot because I can see a lot of people displaying these two side by side. I think that makes a lot of sense. Well, now they're in kind of different outfits. So I would have went one, or one way or the other with both of them at the same time. But that's neither here nor there. Of course, he is number six in Series 3 right after his brother. And then on the back of the package, there he is, looking very good, looking like a Ray Phoenix would look on the back of the package, looking nice. It does have his autograph there. Watch AEW Dynamite and Rampage, AEW All Out 95 2021, Chicago, Illinois. Beautiful this time of year, starting to warm up finally. The winter could be past us. We'll see if that happens. But Unrivaled Supreme Collection right there. Now I'm going to take this offline and spend about 10 minutes trying to get this packaging open. We'll be back talking all things Ray Phoenix. All right, we got Ray Phoenix out of the package here. One thing I forgot to mention with Penta, but I'll mention it now, is, man, the strong smell of the plastic. I feel like I'm on the factory floor working with these things. It's just overpowering out of the package here. But obviously, that'll kind of fade as he gets into the air and the fresh environment. But I want to call that out as I'm about got a contact high and passed out at the table doing with this. But let's start with the accessories, as we always do here. Let's start with these hands. Uh, not as colorful hands as his brother Penta, as we know. Uh, but we do get two Fists of Fury. Got to have those. Got to have two fists. One wrapped, one non-wrapped. We got that going there. We got a gripping hand, two gripping hands. Got tattoos on one. We got the gripping on, wrapping on the other one. So two gripping hands. Playing all the hand hits here. And then we get the kind of uh, splayed out hands, gun pointing hands, two finger hands, whatever you want to call them. Once again, wrapped up really nice. So we got all the hands you could want. He does have two splayed out hands uh, on the figure itself out of the package. Then we do get the tag team title belt once again. Makes a lot of sense. Of course, currently as a filming, he is the Ring of Honor champion. But at the time, tag team champion was what it was all about, as we do know. So we do have that. Then we get into this, and oh boy, here it is. We got a little plastic piece. See you later. Goodbye off the screen. 
We got the Lucha Brothers jacket here. Ray Fenix on the back on this one. Of course, you can match his brother. You can have those guys in the same outfit or their wrestling gear. Choose your own supreme adventure. But very cool. Love this uh, kind of varsity jacket type thing they got going on with these. Looks really nice. And then, of course, you do get the matching arms, uh, the suit arms here. Some reuse with that. That makes a lot of sense. But you got to pick your poison. Do you want entrance gear or match gear? Uh, you got both options here with the Supreme. Now we got this big headdress here, much like his brother had a headdress. He's got a big one as well, a little bit different. Very, very big. Once again, going to make him a very tall figure on your shelf. Maybe won't fit quite possibly on your shelf because he might be too tall, uh, but definitely looks very cool. All kinds of colors on this, all kinds of diff uh, different detail to it. I don't know. I'm not super familiar, but I believe Aztec uh, logo kind of down there or Aztec kind of uh, painting, drawing, whatever it would be. And then you got very colorful artwork as well. You got the fins kind of on the side of the headband. Just looking really, really nice. Very cool extra piece. And once again, much like his brother, probably a one and done accessory piece, which I think is pretty cool. Now we dive into the heads on Ray Phoenix here. The head out of the package, he's got a little bit of a surprised head to him. A little bit kind of stunned. A little bit of an Elvis Presley. A little bit of lip going on there. Uh, looks like he just got dazed. Maybe he just got punched in the nose or something. But definitely looks a little bit differently there. Uh, some of these other heads, we get a very smiling head sculpt. Now, I guess it's a smiling one, but the teeth is showing. The teeth and mouth is open a little bit more. Uh, a little bit less stunned, a little bit more smiling, as I guess we'll call this second head sculpt. Then the third head... What do we got? We got the straight up yelling head there. No tongue out or anything like that. But we got the yelling head. Not sure on first pass which head I like. I, about all the same. I'll probably use one of the other ones. I don't know if I really like the stunned head. But maybe it'll be the screaming and the tongue out head for both of them when I display them together. We'll see if that's the way to go. But the head does got the mask, of course, all in gold. Uh, a lot of design detail there. But it is basically all one color on the mask. So it doesn't quite pop like some of the other colorful masks that have multi-colors in it. But still does look pretty good there. Uh, then you get down to Ray Phoenix and his body. Of course, lots of tattoos on Ray Phoenix, just like his brother. They've spent an absolute fortune in the ta tattoo shops over their careers, uh, it does look like. But looking nice here. I don't see any issues or any big things, but I am by no means an expert on Ray Phoenix's tattoos. Uh, but he does got a lot of different ones, and we've got some colorful ones in there as well, which you guys know I always do like. Of course, articulation being supreme, we got a little bit more bells and whistles with the articulation. This go around, you get the arms all the way around. Of course, you get the butterfly uh, on the shoulders there. You get the bicep cut, double jointed, pinless elbows. The hits being played here at the table today. Painted on wrist tape, then the hands back and forth, side to side hands. Going to be removable, head going to be removable. Plenty of articulation on the head. I mean, he can get all kinds of movement. You can about do anything if you want him high flying or something like that. Very good movement there. Got the big hula hoop at the top. Then you got the traditional waist. Big old splits for Ray Phoenix, which does make sense there. Uh, thigh cut. Gosh, it looks, there is a thigh cut. There it is. It's just very tight. And maybe his brother was that way too. I might have to double check that. Then you get the knee pads there. Double jointed pinless knees. Boot cut. And then ankles back and forth, side to side. Looking really good. Much like his brother, a little bit of looseness in those shoulders, in that butterfly shoulder. Not a huge fan of that, obviously. Want those pretty tight, but a little bit of looseness there. Uh, but very strong at the elbows, too. He's got very small elbows, but sometimes those are very weak joints. Uh, it's still a little weak, but not as bad as some of the other ones, especially in the unrivaled and unmatched lines that we've seen as well. Uh, one thing that does catch my eye is his lower torso and his upper torso look to be different kinds of plastic. If you just sit there and stare at it, it's a much more flat plastic where you got a shiny plastic at the top. That does catch your eye if you stare directly at his midsection. It's like it just doesn't match up quite right. It does look a little bit strange. Uh, and once you see it, you really can't unsee it. It's not the end of the world, but you really should have the plastics matching. And that just must be a miss from the factory. Not sure if that's just mine or if that's going to be all of them. Uh, but it is a little bit disappointing, I think. Uh, I forgot to mention the uh, toe articulation. How dare I? I mentioned it earlier, but I should mention it again. We got the toe articulation on this one. Uh, good color work on this one. You got the white, the black, the gray, the gold, the silver, kind of the tealish, bluish color in there. You got some red and white. Of course, the gold and the mask. Very colorful. Nobody will ever say the Lucha Brothers aren't a colorful tag team because, boy, they definitely are. But a good representation of Ray Phoenix. I just don't know if it's my favorite representation. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle, save yourself 10%, and make sure you get the Jazzwares stands for the Jazzwares figures. But he does fit perfectly on that stand right there. Now we're going to grab out, uh, I think this was the first figure he had, like Unrivaled 2 or 3, something like that. What is time? 
similar but different. I think I like maybe this outfit. There's something special about a black and white outfit to me, so I really do like this one. I do like the bells and whistles with the Supreme line and the pinless joints especially. Uh, definitely a game changer. Definitely do like that a whole lot. But an interesting uh, figure, Ray Phoenix. I think gun to my head, I'm going with Penta first. A little bit more toyetic for me. I like the mask better. I like the tattoos a little bit more. A little bit more bells and whistles, we'll call it. Who knows? But we do got the Penta here to put side by side. The old brothers in arms back again, riding high again. Uh, looking really good, but not too shabby for the Supreme Department and for Series 3. Like I said in the Penta review, I'm really happy they put them both in the same series. I think that really does work. That does work for me especially. I would hate to see Ray in Series 3, then Penta in like Series 6. That would just be uh, one of those things that just wouldn't fit well, uh, I don't think, with the line. So it makes a lot of sense to put the Lucha Brothers in here together. I believe is Series 4, the Young Bucks, I think they're doing the same kind of thing. Makes a lot of sense once again. So we'll see what happens with the Supreme line. Retail's been pretty spotty on these as well. We've seen Targets get uh, Britt Baker uh, pretty heavily. We've seen some Cody's out there. Walmart Cody we've seen in a lot of places. But not a ton of these at retail, which makes sense because this is a very expensive price point for retail being about $42. Really, your best bet is to go to Ringside Collectibles and use discount code Kyle. Save 10%. Because you're not guaranteed to find these at retail. We all know how that goes. Uh, the, the hard times out there trying to search for things like this. But very cool, very interesting, and very interested to see where the Supreme line goes from here. We know the Bucks are coming. Who's coming after that? It's got to be somebody very toyetic. Uh, I would love to see Sting. I think that would be a great one for me. I'm sure Darby Allen will be there as well. Wouldn't be shocked to see those two together. So we'll see what happens in the future, but put your guess in the comments down below on some future Supreme figures we might be looking forward to. So there it is. But let me know your thoughts on uh, Ray Phoenix here, and let me know your thoughts on the Lucha Brothers while you're at it. Put it in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. Of course, we got videos every single day, as you guys know, and you get videos like this much earlier and bonus content over on the Patreon. Truly your best way to support the channel and all the content. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media sir paul 64 on twitter instagram the underscore kyle underscore peterson so for the lucha bros i'm lucha kyle and i'll see you guys all real soon